Not a leap, not a stroll, but a long, tough road that is easy to fall off of. That's what gambling really is. And the deeper you fall, the more chances there are for you to ruin your life beyond repair. It was impossibly hard for him to completely stop gambling. He tried to find loopholes through everything so he could gamble again, even after rehabilitation. You beat me once with this exact hand, 7-5. Daniel remembering the hand that turned the match earlier. Eric Lindgren, a professional poker player, entered rehabilitation in late 2012 for problem gambling. Lindgren's difficulties in debts became public on 2 plus 2 when several players claimed Lindgren owed them money. His life spiraled out of control because of his gambling habits. His hole was deep, possibly seven or eight figures, and he did not see a road to recovery from there but he definitely tried his best to. You know, I had to start over and I put my time in. I played, you know, no limit games all around Vegas the last six, seven months, uh, tournaments, whether it be at the Venetian or the Wynn. Uh, Lindgren then cashed out for more than $1.3 million in 2013 to win his second World Series of Poker bracelet. However, even seven figures in a single year were insufficient to dig Lindgren out of his gambling debts. He had no way to get himself out of this hole he had fallen so far deep into. You know, I'm chipping away the best I can, Lindgren added. I built quite a hole, but I feel good about things. That Jamie Gold run, I kind of went top top. <laughs> I had a lot of pairs and they held up and then I just picked up two kings. But that wasn't how his life had started. And he didn't start out as a gambling addict. He had a fairly bright start to his life. For those of you who do not know who I'm talking about, Eric Lindgren is an American poker player. During his career, he earned two World Poker Tour crowns and two World Series of Poker bracelets. Lindgren earned the World Series of Poker Player of the Year title in 2008. These were some of his biggest achievements in the poker world. Eric A. Lindgren was born on August 11, 1976 in Bernie, California. Lindgren was a standout athlete in high school, captaining both football and basketball teams. After graduating, Lindgren worked as a blackjack dealer at Casino San Pablo. Lindgren was requested to pose as a prop poker player at the table to keep things moving. He quit his job at the casino to pursue his passion for professional poker. Eric Lindgren, who grew up with a love of sports and competition, learned Texas Hold'em while working as a blackjack dealer at an Indian casino near his college. He was drawn in by the competition and became obsessed with it. Lindgren dropped out before finishing his degree to play poker full time. At first, Lindgren kept his decision from his parents. The more Eric played, the better he became. He accepted a job as a proposition player at a casino in California. While not propping, Lindgren spent practically every waking hour online. He advanced quickly and, after a few years, realized that going to Las Vegas was the next logical step. He did exactly that in 2002, and he hit the Las Vegas poker scene. Lindgren succeeded at the Bellagio Five Diamond World Poker Classic in December 2002. He won again just under a year later, this time at the WPT's Ultimate Poker Classic. In 2005, Eric enjoyed another fantastic year on the felt. He finished second in a WSOP circuit event in Atlantic City and advanced to the final table in the LA Poker Classic. A week later, he'd find himself at another final table. This time, it was the professional poker tour in Los Angeles, and he would win. The year began spectacularly and continued with numerous other caches. The start of his year might have been particularly glamorous, but the road of gambling never really ends well. Things remained largely unchanged the following year. Lindgren placed third in the Borgata Winter Poker Open, earning nearly $300,000 before winning an event at the Five Star World Poker Classic for more than $260,000. In 2013, Lindgren finished second to Chino Ream in the World Poker Tour Championship for $650,275. Lindgren was ecstatic because of his recent achievements, and he probably felt invincible. Lindgren's first World Series of Poker Cash came in 2003. During his early WSOP career, he came closest to winning a bracelet in 2006, finishing second in a shorthanded event. Although he earned more than $350,000 for his efforts, the coveted gold bracelet eluded him. 
Lindgren would wait two more years before winning his first bracelet in 2008. The World Series of Poker bracelets have been a significant part of poker history, with the first bracelet being awarded to the winner of the WSOP main event in 1976. Since then, every player who won an open WSOP tournament has received a gold bracelet, with the design, appearance, and value changing over the years. Over $8.6 million in this pot. It's coming down to the river card. The true value of a WSOP bracelet is not the gold or diamonds, but the historical significance of the bracelet. Winning his first bracelet appeared to mean everything to Lindgren, as he won the mixed Hold'em title and nearly $375,000 in prize money at the 2008 World Series of Poker. But that wasn't all he accomplished. Lindgren won five events that year, including third place in the prestigious $50,000 Horse Championship. His achievements knew no bounds. He kept on winning, and that made him lose track of reality. Lindgren received the WSOP Player of the Year award that year due to his outstanding results. Lindgren cashed 12 times at the WSOP from 2009 to 2012, before claiming his second bracelet in 2013, winning event number 32, $5,000 No Limit Hold'em six-handed for $606,317. Lindgren's gambling addiction reached a breaking point in March 2012. Struggling under the weight of his insatiable appetite for risk, he found himself ensnared in the suffocating clutches of financial ruin. Struggling to pay off his fantasy football bets, he found himself owing millions to Full Tilt Poker. To fuel his habit, he took out loans, sinking deeper into debt. Finally, acknowledging the seriousness of his addiction, he sought professional help to turn his life around. Finally acknowledging the seriousness of his debt, he dared to confront the severity of his addiction, forging a path toward recovery from the abyss that threatened to consume him whole. With several debts piling up, Lindgren made matters worse by attempting to gamble his way out of them. Lindgren entered a gambling addiction rehabilitation clinic at the end of 2012 as the problem had spiraled out of control. Of course, as a professional poker player, gambling remains at the heart of Lindgren's chosen profession, and Lindgren has been on the grind since the beginning of 2013. Lindgren married fellow poker player Erica Schonenberg in June 2011, but the two separated in 2014. Lindgren filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2015 with debts estimated at more than $10 million. During his rehab experience, he realized how much grip gambling had over his life and how careless he had been with his finances. He could barely manage to get through his days, and it became uncontrollably hard for him to take care of his daily expenses. The doctors advised him to separate his gambling from his personal life, making it acceptable to walk away from a bet. He could never resist it whenever he had to make a bet, but now he had to actively control himself so that he could get a grip on his life again. If he did not pull back his gambling habit, he would have to live the rest of his life on scraps. And who wants to live like that? It was impossibly hard for him to completely stop gambling. He tried to find loopholes through everything so he could gamble again, even after rehabilitation. Although he was advised to stop gambling, he believes that playing poker is the only way he can repay those that he has hurt. He told journalists, I don't want to stop my profession, I just want to get better at it. I want to stay in full control, which means not gambling wildly, not going beyond my bankroll, and gambling with other people's money. I want to gamble the right way and do my profession as well as I can. Eric Lindgren's story is far from over as the 43-year-old continues to grind it out with infrequent appearances on the mid-stakes tournament circuit. Lindgren remains a tournament competitor, and it seems he's not ready to leave this part of his life behind. Lindgren's wife, Erica, and five-year-old son, Jake, push him to overcome his addiction. What do you think about Lindgren's story, and what would you have him do differently? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button before you leave.